hobbyist group may hold the key to the mystery of what the military shot down over Canada last week. Yeah, there's a lot of evidence from the group that suggests a missile may have taken out a balloon that costs $12. Fox 35's Carolyn Shively reports from Washington. Wrapping up its debris search off the South Carolina coast, military officials say they will now look for answers as they examine the remnants of that Chinese spy balloon shot down on February 4th. It's the three smaller objects blown out of the sky in the eight days after that, sparking all the questions. They shot a $400,000 missile, a Sidewinder missile, at three balloons that were industrial balloons or weather balloons. Uh, that makes absolutely no sense to me. No apologies here. You make the best decisions you can with the information you have. President Biden admitted on Thursday that the three were most likely private balloons used for recreation or scientific research. A report by Aviation Week questioned whether one of the objects could be a missing balloon belonging to a hobby club in Illinois. NORAD tells Fox Digital officials have talked to the group. The White House wouldn't comment on that, but did say U.S. airspace is safe. There shouldn't be any overarching concern by the American people that uh, that the skies are somehow full of attack balloons uh, or that they're, that they're at greater risk. The president has tasked the government with updating regulations for unmanned aerial objects. We do need to have a better system to determine what are objects that are truly dangerous to American security and what objects are more uh, innocent. The White House wouldn't rule out shooting down more unidentified aircraft over the U.S. if they're deemed a potential threat. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.